Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is December the 14th, Thursday, and it's now 10.36 a.m. And I just got done answering all your lovely comments, and they were so encouraging. And I pray that you are encouraged this day as well. Well, I'm wearing my favorite shirt. I know I say that a lot, but this truly is my favorite. Jesus is my life support. And I'm telling you what. He truly is. He truly is my life support. And just every now and then I have to be reminded. Whether I remind myself or <laughs> my hair. Oh, it's this weather and wearing hats. <laughs> it just does everything. It does whatever it wants to. It goes wherever it wants to. Okay. <laughs> Y'all behave so I can get going. All right. Now, today I'm about to read to you today's email from Dawn. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't... <coughs> have not encountered any cigarette smoke since I got my inhaler. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Buddy. Buddy. Hey, hey, I'm about to do a video. Come over here. Come over here and be quiet. Shh. Okay, let's get started. Someone's across the hall wanting to visit a neighbor, I guess. Okay. So from dawn, we get this morning, uh, the email begins with the small straws in a soft wind by Marsha Burns. I am directing you to do things that you would not normally do. But I have purpose for you in the byways of life, not to mention that I want you to be present in ways that will reveal my presence, says the Lord. Be sensitive and obedient to my leading. It is unlikely that you will know the impact of what you do at this time. Boy, I have a, a feeling that's a for sure 100% right because I can't see the impact of what I do. That's for sure. But we keep on keeping on, don't we, saints? All right, then she adds Isaiah 6, verse 8. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. That's what I told the Lord when I first started calling out to him. Right after I left my ex-husband, I would pray, Lord, here I am. Use me. Use me. And here I am. This spiritual climate shift is happening in order to blow. Oh, I'm sorry. I said, okay, excuse me. The end of that. Scripture that said, Hear my send me, unquote. That was Marsha Burns. The next, this next little paragraph is from Doug Addison. This spiritual climate shift is happening in order to blow away the things in our lives that have held us back. It will remove things we have battled with in the past. God is blowing away debris and preparing us now for dramatic change. Two are better than one, as you will get a lot more done by reaching out to others. Like I said, that was from Doug Addison. This is dated December 13th, although Today's email, this is December 14th, so this came to them yesterday. Matthew 24, 11. And many false prophets will rise and deceive many. Mark 13, 22. 
for false Christs and false prophets will rise and show signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Oh, how I pray we are not deceived, brothers and sisters. Dear Lord, let us not be part of the elect who get deceived. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear and keep our Holy Spirit oil filled in our vessels so we can have discernment and wisdom and understanding to know who is truthful and who is not. In Jesus' name I pray. All right. Write these words that I say unto thee, son. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. There is no other God before my holy throne. My children, many come in my name proclaiming my truth. Beware of this, as my words plainly tell you, that false prophets will arise. You can know them easily by their fruits. Do they teach my holy word? Does what they proclaim line up with my teachings? I call all men everywhere to repent and live righteously before me. No man is perfect. This is where the gift of my salvation comes in. I cover you where you lack. I make you clean and holy before me. No man is holy on their own. My Holy Spirit guides you and convicts you of sin. Trust in this. Trust in me to lead you. Do not let anyone tell you to live like the heathen do, for this is against my commands. I love you, Yahushua. Proverbs twenty-eight thirteen. He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Acts 17.30 God overlooked the time of ignorance, but now he commands all men everywhere to repent. Romans 1.18 The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth through unrighteousness. Psalm 119, 115 Depart from me, you who are wicked, for I keep the commandments of my God. And this is from Jordan Christopher. December 14, 2017 It's close to the time you will receive your promise in the natural. It has been in the spiritual for many years. The one who received it from me has not given up, even though at times it seemed impossible. When things appeared to be far from the promise, it would be repeated back to me just as it was given just like it happened yesterday. Don't you now, don't you now give up. Believe my word and receive it all. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20 in the NASB For as many as are the promises of God, in him they are yes, Therefore also through him is our Amen 
to the glory of God through us from Bev Robinson December 14 2017 repetition of information gains you better understanding of any subject matter continuously throughout scripture you are reminded of my love for you through various means that validates my truthfulness the same can be said about promises kept through means of memorization establish the mindset of repetitiously etching my word upon your heart and mind remember it was by repetition of my gospel which led you to your salvation Philippians 3 verse 1 in the NASB says finally my brethren rejoice in the Lord to write the same things again is no trouble to me and it is a safeguard for you. This was put up by Kevin Robinson. December 14th, 20. Okay, she wrote 2014. It might be a typo. Wrapped in the arms of Mary was the hope for the world. And he lives. I sent that hope in the form of my son Jesus. The hope that lives today is the same hope that came to earth from heaven 2,000 years ago. The hope that I offer allows you to live your life with the knowledge and understanding of my peace and joy. Today, draw from my hope and live your life in my joy and peace. Romans 15, 13 in the NASB. Now may the God of hope Fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And this was put up by Jonas Bolin. And that's the end of today's email from Dawn. I pray this has blessed and encouraged you. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over the internet connection, and over each and every one of you and all your devices. And I'll say goodbye for now. I'll talk to you later.